There's nothing that we can do to get these people to love us, black man. There's nothing you can do to get the so-called white man to accept you. There's nothing you can do, black man, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man, to get America to accept you. You can talk high, you can talk, hey there, hey, how's it going? You can wear your pants up all high, you can tuck in your shirt all day, you can wear your tie extra stupid tight. You can do everything that America wants you to do. You can get a job and be gainfully employed. Yeah, come on, right, that's why I say get that high man. Hey, what's up, my name? Tie around. You know what I'm saying? They take no tie up, that's how you get the high voice. Hey there, hey there, buddy, hey guy. You can do all that all day and America will still hate you. You know how you know? Look how America treats its veterans. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st Annual Passover. This is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK, there were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the women's side. Now, we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if you're not the jigger, ain't wanna meet you Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach you But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Ave White Plains, New York, in the cars. They got million dollar houses, have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults, 17 and over. Money, we Kids are for free. But they'll be sleeping in that same place when that semi -fies. Start sending in your funds you today. Every February, who do they tell you to celebrate? Thurgood Marshall, Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, MLK, we never get told about black history past America. We never get told about black history past slavery. We never get told that King David in the Bible was a black man. We never get told in the Bible that King Solomon in the Bible is a black man. We never get told that Christ in the Bible is a black man. We get told who to celebrate and how to celebrate and when to celebrate, you know why? Because in this kingdom, we are still slaves. In this kingdom, we are still under oppression. Don't let Obama being elected into office think we've made it, man. Don't let Obama being elected to office think that we're post-racial. It's worse now than it was before. America voted in a racist, a sexual deviant out of backlash because black people voted for Barack Obama. And the sad part is, Barack Obama is not even our people. Uh-oh, I know white people confused. Barack Obama is not even a black person. Barack Obama is a so-called African. There's a difference between us and them. But nevertheless, us in our ignorance put in somebody in office who did nothing for black people. No president will ever do anything for black people. You know why? Because it is American culture to be against blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It is American culture to hate the very people that build and make this empire run. It's the culture of America to hate our people. It's like apple pie and baseball, man. It goes hand in hand, and guess what? We can't seem to understand that. We still want to join America. We want to be Democrats. We want to be Republicans. We want to be uh, uh, Christians and Muslims. We just seen Donald Trump got acquitted. Give me Zachariah 11.5. We see Donald Trump just got acquitted. Now, a lot of you may have been surprised. The men of the ISUBK were not surprised. You know why? Because in America, there is a reoccurring theme when it comes to the white man and his crimes. All over the face of the earth, and even in the Bible, there is a reoccurring theme when it comes to the white man and his crimes. Our oppressor and his crimes. Water cap. Guess what? We're going to find out what it is. 
Donald Trump getting acquitted is nothing new. It's nothing special. And if you had wisdom according to this Bible, you would have seen it coming, man. Because it happens every day. It's happened all throughout history, man. Tell them where you at. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them? The Bible says, whose possessors slay them? Now, let me ask you a question. When black people were brought to the east coast of America as slaves, who were we sold to? Whose possessions were we in America? It's not hard. It's common history. We were sold to the so-called oppressor, the colonizer, the slave master. We were their possession, and they were our possessors. And right here, the Bible is speaking specifically about our possessors. Like I said, just because we don't have chains on our arms and a yoke of iron around our neck doesn't mean we're not in slavery. We are still in slavery in America. You know how you know? What's the minimum wage for BC? 15 an hour? 13, 15? That's how much money you need to make every year to survive in DC. 80, you need to make $80,000 a year just to survive in DC. A hundred, the, the what? $120,000 is what you have to make every year just to survive in DC. What is the minimum wage in DC? $15? What does that come up to? Not enough? You're, you're short, man. And you wonder why black men go on the streets and think their only option is to sell drugs. You know why? Because we live in oppression. We are in slavery still, man. We, we got to work two or three jobs. And we still not making it, man. We still not breaking even in America. And it's not just D.C. It's everywhere in America, man. Everywhere we are, we are on the bottom. And we're suffering because we're still slaves in America. We are still in captivity. And right here, the Bible is speaking about the people who possess us. Read it from the top. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them? It says, whose possessors slay them? The people that are over us in America, the people that make the decisions in this empire, they slay us, man. What does it mean to slay, to kill, to murder, man? Both of them, John was killed in his own home for doing absolutely nothing. A Tatiana Jefferson was killed in her own home for doing absolutely nothing, man. We are, we are murdered in the streets. We are murdered in the streets every day. And white people love to bring up what about black on black crime? Let me help you. Where did we learn that from? Who did we learn to be so violent from? Before integration, look at the statistics for black on black crime. It was damn near, it never existed pretty much. You know why? Because when we were to ourselves, we had compassion and love for each other. And as soon as we joined with these people, we took on their violent ways. We took on their murderous spirit, man. We become American and now you have black on black crime. It is American culture to be a murderer. It is American culture to be a rapist. It is American culture to be a liar and a thief and to go against God, man. Going against God is American culture. And it's American culture to slay and murder blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And right here in the Bible, it's saying that, man. The people that are in charge murder the most defenseless people in this nation. You would think the coronavirus would make white people kill Chinese people. Nah. You would think terrorism would make the oppressor kill Arabs. Nah. Guess who they murder? The same people that go to work and slave for them, man. The people that drive the buses. The people that take out the trash. The people that stand all day at their security jobs, man. They murder the people that serve this country, that love this country. Black people are the most patriotic people in our ignorance, man. We are the most patriotic people, and yet we are the most demonized and the most villainized, man. Because we have a people over us that hate us, and they slay us, man. Keep reading. And hold themselves not guilty. And hold themselves what? Not guilty. Trump was acquitted, which means what? Not guilty. Trump was found not guilty for his crimes against the country. Now listen, we don't get into politics, but we have to know it just to teach. But Donald Trump committed treason according to the U.S. Constitution. And guess what? They find themselves not guilty. You know why? Because they side 
with the fact that Donald Trump hates blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. America's racism is the very reason why they can overlook Donald Trump's treason. Imagine that. Imagine Benedict Arnold being acquitted because of his strong hate for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. That's what you have in office right now. You have a Benedict Arnold, according to your constitution, Donald Trump committed crimes. Crimes against the so-called American Constitution. But this should let you know something. The oppressor's laws mean absolutely nothing to them. They only have laws simply to oppress our people. They make laws only to keep us in line, to keep us in check. You know how you know? Look at the difference between the crack and the cocaine laws. Look at the difference. It was about, it was about a 10 time difference in time for crime, for, for, uh, for crack crimes than cocaine. You know why? Because they knew statistically black people did crack because it was cheaper and white people did cocaine. So, of course, they don't want to really penalize their people, but they penalize the people that's on the bottom. They penalize the people that are already suffering and are already poor and already depressed and already weak and sad, man. Meanwhile, they get high in Congress. Meanwhile, meanwhile, they get high in uh, the, uh, Wall Street and the Fortune 500 companies, man. Harvey Weinstein was getting them women drugged up, man. They talk about Bill Cosby, which is wrong, man. Listen, check this out. Drugging up any woman to have sex with them is disgusting and it's wrong. But Bill Cosby wasn't the only one doing it. Harvey Weinstein was famous for it, man. And still, right now, today, in Congress, you have Congress members, you have members of the police force, you have members of government partaking in the very crimes that they demonize black people for. You know why? Because their laws don't apply to them. Their laws don't apply when it, when it, when it, it convicts them, man. The Bible says it, read it from the top. Zechariah chapter 11, verse five. Who possess and slay them and hold themselves not guilty. They murder us and find themselves not guilty. They commit crimes and find themselves not guilty. Let me help you out. Do you know in Virginia, in the 1800s, Virginia passed a law that made it okay for white women to murder slave babies. You know why? Because white women would get so angry and their emotional fury, they would harm and kill black babies in their emotional anger. And they were killing so many black babies that Virginia had to pass a law that didn't convict white women. They passed laws to make themselves not guilty. And then the laws they do have, they don't apply, they don't apply to them. The very people that America hires to enforce the law are the ones committing crimes. Look at the police officers. They murder people in cold blood. We watch Eric Gardner get murdered on tape, man. On tape. We watched Philando Castile get murdered on tape. We watched the murder of our people happen on tape, documented, right in front of our face. And they find themselves not guilty, man. We gotta understand the people that we live under are not capable of running anything, man. The people that we are subjected, uh, that we are subjects under, are terrible people to be under, man. We live under people that have nothing but hate in their hearts. Give me Ezekiel 35 and 5. America is run by racists. It doesn't matter if Donald Trump would have got impeached or not. Well, he already got impeached. But it doesn't matter if he was got kicked out of, yeah, he got impeached already. Yeah, but he was still impeached. It wouldn't have matter if he got kicked out of office or he stayed. You know why? Because the people that run America are all racist. One thing they all have in common, one thing the Democrats and the Republicans and the Independents all have in common, they hate blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Don't, black people, don't be fooled by that political party g garbage, man, by the games of that, man. That is a game. It's a game to give us a false illusion of hope. Guess what, our hope is in this book. We didn't know, we had our own constitution right here in this book. And guess what? Our constitution is more righteous than theirs. You know why? Because our constitution applies to all of us. Their constitution only applies when they want it to apply. Our constitution is better than theirs, and it's called the Bible. 
We serve a people that hate us so much that according to their constitution, still to this day, black people are three-fifths of a human. Meaning black people are counted the same as cattle, man. Black people are looked at as cattle, as cows, as sheep, man. Why do you think the oppressor has more love for dogs and the bald eagle and sea turtles? You know, if you hit a, a Canadian goose, one of these, uh, these geese that you see flying around, if you hit one of them with your car, you know you can get five years off the top. I'm not lying, man. Look it up. If you hit one of these geese, you get five years minimum. Guess what? You can kill a black man, and you get five years. How much time did Amber Geiger get for killing both of them, John? None. George, how much time did George Zimmerman get for killing Trayvon Martin? Hey, guess what? George Zimmerman wasn't even a police officer, man. He was an everyday, average Joe white man. And he took it upon himself to murder that brother in cold blood. And how much time did he serve? None. Because they have nothing but hate in their hearts for the Lord people's, for the Lord's people, man. Tell them where you at. BK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, y'all. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the women's side. Now we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if your Nas a Jigga ain't wanna meet ya Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach ya But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Ave White Plains, New York, 10606. Diamonds in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPA 51st Annual Pass Over Facebook page. More updates will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. If you're a black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian male, and you want to participate in Hebrew Academy 2021, contact the nearest camp leader in your city to see if you got what it takes to be a soldier in the Army of Christ under Commanding General Yohan. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st Annual Passover.